Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. It's our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 11. Upright citizens are good for a city and make it prosper, but the talk of the wicked tears it apart. Following God is an intensely personal matter, but it mustn't stop there. Living in God's way affects every part of life. It needs to flow out from our personal walk with God to the community in which we live. The writer of Proverbs was eager that his readers should understand that they have vital responsibilities towards their society. He knew that the cohesion of their community depended on their personal contribution as upright citizens. Nothing has changed. Our society also depends on the contribution that we make. So let's explore for a moment what it means for us to be upright citizens. This has to begin with our willingness to submit to the civic authorities and to do what they tell us to do. Paul told the Christians in Rome that they should submit to the governing authorities because their authority came from God. He warned his readers that if they rebelled against the civic leaders, they were actually rebelling against God and would be punished for it. We also have a responsibility to pray for our civic leaders. In writing to his young friend Timothy, Paul wrote that we should pray for kings and all who are in authority so that they can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good, Paul observed, and pleases God our Saviour. In order to pray for our leaders, it's good if, from time to time, we ask them what they'd like us to pray for. Why not ask your local MP, councillors, police, fire brigade and NHS leaders to visit your church so that you can pray for them during one of your services? I know that many churches have done this. What an excellent way of showing our commitment to the community. Our society is racked by cynicism. You only have to mention local or national politics to be hit by a barrage of carping, critical and cynical remarks. I'm not for a moment suggesting that they get everything right. They don't. But they do deserve our love, support, encouragement and prayers if we intend to be the kind of upright citizens that God wants us to be. Now let me ask you a question. In what ways are you able to support your own community? And now let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you for our communities. Help us to be faithful and encouraging and supporting those who have responsibilities within it. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcasts, which you can access, of course, at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.